Okay, update on the 1950 Nash Statesman Super Project. Uh, take a look underneath here. Kind of hard to see, but I have built uh, transmission mounts and uh, link supports that run back to a cross member that I built to um, attach the rear link system from the from the uh, rear axle and uh, this thing had before an enclosed drive line so these rear links were originally attached right to the drive line housing and so I had to change that out and in order to do that I needed to build this cross member to attach the links to and in the process I also built these support links that run up to the cross member for the transmission mount and that'll be just some added strength and uh, had the drive line uh, I took a drive line from a, a S10 Chevy S10 Blazer had it lengthened 14 inches and uh, that turned out real nice got that all installed so uh, here's a to-do list still a long ways to go but we have a 350 Chevy engine from uh, about a 1972 Gleaner Combine from the wheat fields. It's kind of a big industrial looking thing and I didn't paint it. That's just how I want it to look. I've got the uh, fan shroud installed and mounts built for that last night. I got the alternator installed. I got uh, have the radiator mounted. Um, what else? We've got the rear end all done. Uh, the S10 rear end was too narrow. So we've got a 1984 Camaro rear end. Got it bagged so it'll drop right down on the ground. Got a tip from a Nash guy that tells me that uh, on the internet that deals with Nashes, a guy tells me that uh, Ford wheels will fit these things. So uh, that'll be easy. I can get some 14 inch Ford rims with a lower profile tire that'll drop the front end down low and get rid of these big humongous 15 inch bias ply Nash tires and wheels. Uh, so, I, don't know, I think that's about it. Doesn't sound like much, but it's been hours and hours and lots of work, a lot of time. But um, uh, we have a 72. 350 engine, uh, turbo 350 transmission from a 1978 Buick Regal, and a rear end from a 1984 Camaro. And I believe that I'm going to be able to use the linkage for the transmission instead of having to cut a hole in the floor. What this had was a three, a three on the tree lever. And I'm thinking I'm going to be able to hook that up to my automatic transmission. And uh, that'll be real neat if I don't have to cut a hole in the floor and build a shifter. Uh, so I guess that's about it. Hoping today to get a gas tank mounted, gas line run, electric fuel pump installed. And let's see, I built the front motor mounts. Those are, those are off a of Subaru. <laughs> so, it's kind of uh, bits and pieces from a little bit of everything, but that's part of the hobby and part of the fun of it. And uh, can't wait to get this thing running. I'll, uh, I don't know, I'm a couple of weeks away, I guess. Got to do some work on the brakes. And uh, But, that's it for now.